This video is once again for your sick friend, feminist friends that claim they could never vote for Trump, but could vote for the party of Bill Clinton, of Joe Biden, and of Kamala Harris. Bizarre people, abusive people. Welcome to Doug in Exile. I'm Doug Tenafel. This is where the happy patriots are. All I want to say, this is not a way to defend Trump because I don't know what Trump has done. I only know that Trump's opponents that say the reason why they can't vote for him is because he's somehow abusive. They'd have no right to ever vote for Kamala Harris or a Democrat ever. So you know they're hypocrites if they're voting Democrat. We have Bill Clinton who's going to make the case for me. First, I'll play the clip, put you on the same page, because when I saw this, I got sick inside. This is a sick, sick man. Remember, Juanita Broderick, black eye, bit lip, their abusive, bizarre anti-woman um, um, abusers on the Democrat side. And feminists cover up for them. Running against someone who is physically attractive, but believes that politics is a performance art. So now that's Bill Clinton at a uh, talking at a Ruben Gallego, you know, positive for Ruben Gallego in Arizona. And he's specifically talking about Carrie Lake being attractive while his hand is all shaky. He can barely hold himself together. He's Bill Clinton. These Democrats that are pretending like they are for women or pretending feminists who pretend like they're for women. Remember, they all covered up for Bill Clinton abuse. All of them. They all lied about Kavanaugh. They lied about Trump. They don't know. We still don't know if E. Jean Carroll is true or not. We only know what a, a, a liberal jury said about them. What we know of their actual behavior, though, is they covered up for Doug Emhoff, Kamala Harris's husband, who has physically smacked a woman enough to turn her around, uh, according to out these allegations. Democrats don't care. Feminists don't care. They're not going to run with it and put it anywhere. They only care about Trump. Two weeks before an election, don't forget to vote. Running against someone who is physically attractive. Okay, we're going to start on that one. That's the first clip. He's talking about Carrie Lake, and he describes her as physically attractive. There's a lot of things about Carrie Lake. And then yesterday, I, well, I actually woke up this morning, and I found out yesterday one of the more familiar Democrats was in town, and his name is Bill Clinton. <laughs> Hold on. He, I found out he actually paid me a compliment. I'm asking the feminists out there, are you allowed to say that a woman is physically attractive anymore? Because I thought that was way out of line, especially the first thing that you say about a woman is her looks. Is that something you're allowed to do? Because I'm pretty sure you only allow Bill to do it because you cover up for his abuse. Uh, and in covering it up, by the way, uh, it perpetuates it because they, he knows he's going to get cover from all you Democrat feminists that, oh, that old cad, that's just the way you do it. But he physically talked about Carrie Lake. He was, he was here campaigning for Ruben Gallego, my cop-hating, open borders, anti-woman opponent. And Bill Clinton, he paid me a compliment. He said I was physically attractive. <laughs> I woke up to this news this morning. Uh, first of all, uh, you know what? As a middle-aged woman, I'm flattered. I'm flattered, okay? I don't get those kind of compliments every day. If I'm going to say Carrie Lake is very attractive, um, and I do think she's attractive, but that's beside the point. It's beside the point. Um, is it appropriate? I think Tulsi Gabbard's very attractive. There are, there's all kinds of people, you know, Kamala Harris is to some degree attractive, okay? Are we just going to look at people's looks? I thought we weren't allowed to do it. Why is Bill Clinton doing it? But believes that politics is a performance art. And he's also impugning Kerry Lake for believing politics is a performance art. Now, I'm an artist. I know performance art. <laughs> um, no one is known. I mean, Bill Clinton is known for his performative or his performance as a politician. He, he was just blown out of the water by Obama, who's even more of a performance with the intonation. To stop pretending that countries that just hold an election where sometimes the the winner somehow magically gets 90% of the vote because all the opposition is locked up or can't get on TV is a democracy. 
democracy depends on strong institutions, and it's about my minority rights and checks and balances and freedom of speech and freedom of expression and a free press and the right to protest and petition the government and an independent judiciary and everybody having to follow the law. So it's a performance art to Clinton and it's a it's no bigger performance artist than Obama. In fact, no one was able to take truly vapid Kamala Harris-esque statements and make them sound legit because of the mere performance of Barack Obama. He made himself look smart, made himself talk smart. He actually was not smart. What he said was full of like, oh, 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 oh. All those things uh, override uh, a guilt by association. Uh, 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 some of these issues uh, to talk more fully about uh, 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 with full documentation that uh, there's nothing I think there's no doubt that uh, 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 it has been in the past. Uh, oh, 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 which is, you know, something you're not supposed to do as a public speaker. He got away with being known as this great inspirational leader. Like, I don't think he's any kind of an orator at all. I don't, I don't like him. I don't think he's good. I don't think Clinton is either. I think he's really greasy. I think Martin Luther King Jr. is the most amazing orator that they're all still trying to imitate. But anyways, he's saying... Carrie Lake uniquely believes this is a performance art. And Kamala Harris does not believe this is performative, where she fakes the laugh, where she fakes with all this stuff with her hands and the condescension. It's supposed to be so professorial. Now let's zoom in on his gross, disgusting, tremoring hand as he talks about Carrie Lake. Look at this. What is that? What what shape is he is he making? What is he cupping in his mind? All right, maybe maybe that's not a fair comment. I think it is if this is performance art. Now here's uh here's some memes of Bill very very bored with Hillary Clinton, and then what perks him up? Ding! Carrie Lake makes him all Bill happy. What a gross creepy movement what a lying movement from feminists they're gr they're gonna let him get away with this they always do in fact they champion it they think it's kind of cute and neat i thought i was a little too old for him doesn't he like interns <laughs> In fact, when Trump commented Kamala Harris, he said she has a way about her. Very interesting. He's talking about her, the way that she acts. And whereas Bill Clinton goes straight to just the physical form. And man, the Democrats, they'd vote for this guy again, all over again. They'd vote for Harvey Weinstein if he was running against uh, Donald Trump. They'd vote for Bill Cosby if he was running against Donald Trump. They'd, they'd vote for all these people. They will cover up for Kamala Harris, his husband, who has smacked women around. If it means keeping Donald Trump from winning, that is, they will lie about politics instead of helping a poor the poor women out there. They will cover it up to win an election. This is going to get worse, guys. All this week, they're going to come out with more and more lies against Trump. I'm Doug in exile.